Hey everyone, it's Moonbow here, bringing you guys suggested creations in Scrap Mechanic, Episode 10, Part 4 and 5. In this episode, I'll be showing you guys my diamond separating facility, as well as a little bulldozer. In this episode, I'd like to thank Chicken Games, and I'd like to thank Bowie Chu. So let's get right to it. So the first thing I just wanted to say about this episode, guys, was that I wanted to try some new format style with my videos, uh, so I really would love your guys' feedback and what you think. Uh, I'm new to this, so uh, hopefully you guys will help me out and uh, we'll make some cool stuff. So in this episode, I'm really happy to finally have a building. I've uh, never been suggested any type of building or facility of that nature. Uh, so finally, here it is, for the first time ever, a building that I've made. Uh, it's really neat, it's very functional as well, uh, it can do quite a bit uh, for this entire mining world. Uh, so I'll start off by just giving you guys a little bit of a tour here. As you can see, I just have like a front office with a big monumental diamond on the wall. There's a kind of a meeting room here. And this will probably be like a storage room. Uh, I'm gonna add one more thing to this world, and in that as well, I will add more detail into these rooms and make it a little more, uh, a little more detailed and fun to walk around in. So down here, I just have like a viewing area just so you can see the work in progress. And upstairs here, we've got kind of like the manual control center here for the uh, entire machine. Uh, the actual control tower is over there, but here you can manually press the buttons and they will activate things on it as well. And then up top here, I have kind of a viewing balcony so you can see the entire uh, facility here. And that's really it. There's nothing much to it. Just something simple to convey a building. I can show you guys the back here. As you can see, I have not been deleting the diamonds I've been making in each video, so I've been collecting them. I've brought them here using all my equipment. Uh, so there's quite a few now. Maybe I might delete some of them later on before I make the download uh, to save a bit of FPS there. Uh, so right now, I'm just going to quickly go over the... Um, Sifter, if you want to call it. It's kind of like a, a separator for diamonds and dirt. Uh, and in a moment, I will show you guys what I mean by that. So right here, you just hop into the seat and you have three buttons. So the three buttons are all set to that um, separator down there. So the way it works is it spins on a wheel and shakes everything around. So as you can see, Normally there'd be diamonds inside of there with uh, blocks of wood that I would call dirt of one or two size. And so all the dirt falls through those holes and the diamonds stay on top. Another function as well is it has a dumping ability. So once all the dirt's fallen out, you can lift it up like this and all the diamonds will fall out and the dirt will be left underneath it. Uh, so one thing to note though is the diamonds will sometimes get stuck in the holes. So I've added a function here. Uh, so you press 3 and hold it, and these teeth come out, and they push all the diamonds down. So you can actually just kind of toggle it like this, and eventually all the diamonds will come falling to the ground. In one of the future updates, actually, I will be adding a pickup truck, I'm pretty sure. So the pickup truck will park down below in the marked area, and it will receive all the diamonds, and you can ship them off to somewhere else. So it's a very interesting mechanism, I'm going to show you guys that. If you press 1, it'll start the spinning, and I will pop down there, and I will show you guys what it looks like. So here we are now underneath the entire thing. As you can see, I have absorbing uh, tires down here, so those absorb the shock from the rounding turn. I can walk over here and show you guys that it's just a wheel attached to two bearings, which is attached to two more. Uh, so the entire thing just spins on itself like that. I added two because sometimes just the one bearing would sometimes want to flip it around a little too violently, so the two bearings just makes it spin like butter. Over here, as you can see, this is the actual holding track system. Uh, so that way it doesn't come off of the entire uh, spinning rotation. 
So as you can see, it kind of just absorbs the shock down below, and then these wheels here kind of slowly spin as they need to, uh, just so that way nothing falls out of place. And when the entire mechanism is lifted up and over, this entire uh, box here will actually pick up the uh, kind of guiding rod and bring it up with it. Uh, so actually, I will show you guys what that looks like. So here it is guys, this is the entire thing lifted up now. Uh, once it's lifted up like this, uh, you can see that the entire box there went up with it as well, um, independently. So that way, this entire rod doesn't uh, sag down. And as you can see, this gap here actually works perfectly for the entire thing to come down and slide right back in between the tires, and it'll seat no problem. So I thought that was a pretty neat feature. And then of course, the third feature on this, aside from those two, is these uh, rows of teeth that will go up and into the holes and eject the diamonds. So I think I would really like to show you guys what this looks like with a bunch of diamonds and dirt inside of it. Uh, I'm gonna load this uh, whole dump truck up with them, and so what we'll do is I'll uh, load it up and we'll dump it into this entire sifter and we'll give it a run cycle. So I will be back in one moment with that. Alright guys, as you can see I've loaded up a little modest amount of the diamond blocks as well as the wood blocks to simulate kind of like dirt as if you had to, you know, you had to do something to actually get your diamonds. Uh, so here you can see I just added a little bit. Um, and so I'll show you guys the interaction now with the dump truck and this entire uh, facility here. You just have to drive up close to the wall here like that. It gets a little bit laggy, but it's worth it in the end. You just kind of bump into that fence there. Once you've bumped into the fence, you can actually just lift up your entire truck bed. And it'll all fall into the sifter. Alright, so here it is guys, our mix of dirt and diamonds in the machine, so I'd say we give it a little bit of a cycle. It's pretty funny to watch, so I hope you guys enjoy this. So basically you can just let it run for a while and eventually all of the dirt will fall out and then you're just left with the diamonds. So I think there's one piece left. Oh, it fell out I think. No, it's still there. There it is. It's just kind of bopping around in that lower corner actually. It will, oh. oh, there it goes. Alright, so now I can turn that off. So all we're left with are the diamonds. I will hop down below and show you guys here. There's all the dirt down below that has been separated. And so now we're ready to empty out the entire uh, diamond load. So I will just reposition this to the lower spot. Right there. And there we go. So like I was saying, the diamonds get stuck, so all you need to do is press 3 and kind of tap it around a bit, and it will push the diamonds out. And this can work with uh, the entire thing spinning actually, so it spins. You can actually raise the entire thing up like this while it's spinning. If you really wanted to anyway, that's just how functional it is. It doesn't break. I've tested and tested this, that's why this video took so long to make actually was how much effort I had to put into not having this screw up. So that there guys is the facility for diamond separating. So we got our diamonds here from the dirt. And that way, we'll once we'll have a pickup truck here, that'll pick them up and we can drive away with them. But for now, I just kind of take the bulldozer and shove them off to the side, which I will show you guys next. 
Alright guys, here I am inside of the bulldozer now. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty simple in design. It's, it is effective and it's pretty neat at the same time. Uh, this was originally suggested by Chicken Games long ago uh, when the, you know, ta tank tracks were a big thing. Uh, but it's been, I've, I've finally, I've decided that tank tracks are too laggy for the game right now. Hopefully they will improve that. Uh, but until then, I'm just gonna keep my build simple and effective and lag free in the world so we can make lots and lots of cool worlds with lots of vehicles. So this is obviously very simple. Uh, as you can see, I've added in uh, some suspension on the actual entire front part there. And so what that allows me to do is kind of, when I'm dragging it on the ground or if I bump into things, it'll just kind of absorb some of the shock so I don't bounce around too much. And when it's on the ground like this, if I ever hit a hill or anything, it'll kind of absorb some of that so it'll keep me allowed to go uh, forward. So I'm just gonna kind of spin over to those diamonds that we just unloaded and get them out of there. Alright, so I added that uh, control tower for the uh, sifter after I made everything, and the bulldozer doesn't actually fit underneath there. Uh, but that's okay, because as long as the pickup truck can fit under there and grab those diamonds and get them out of there, then it's not a problem. Uh, so I will just show you guys the bulldozer back here in action, kind of pushing around some of these diamonds that I've made. As you can see, I can move around quite a few of them at the same time. Uh, it's pretty fun, actually. You can really, uh, you know, make a pile of diamonds with this thing. That is, of course, until you run into hills and stuff. So maybe I will add uh, kind of a world platform here, but we'll see. And here you can actually see the uh, suspension in action when I'm on the hill. So it absorbs some of the shock so that way I can keep driving a little bit. So there you have it guys, it's um, not necessarily the last update to this world. I want to definitely put one more thing in here, at least one more. So the download will either come with the next update, which will be the next episode, or it will come with the uh, second next episode. So not this one coming up, but the one after. Uh, so I'm really happy for you guys to get to download this and try everything out. Uh, see how everything interacts together, and definitely play with your friends because there's so many things you can do together in this world and work as a team. Uh, so this is a lot of fun to build, and I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I've been loving all your suggestions. Uh, I've said in a uh, video before that I have a few ideas for different worlds, and that's kind of looking like NASA world, F1 racing world, um, another kind of cars world as well, uh, and I'm sure there's more to that list. Uh, but there's lots of scrap mechanic to come, guys, so I hope you guys are liking the videos, and I'll see you all in the next episode.